just gonna get it open this. Hello, and thank you for tuning in to my video, 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 yeah. Today, we are gonna be talking all about how I went dairy-free, why, and what some of my favorite dairy-free products are. Also, I will be giving you a little update to the last video that I posted. It will be right at the end, so sit back, relax, and enjoy the May show. I am so extra. <laughs> For about two months, I had this constant migraine and I couldn't figure out why and I was eating, you know, the same things over and over and I was eating quote unquote healthy-ish <laughs> and I couldn't figure out why I had these debilitating migraines. Like my head would be on fire and like it just didn't make sense. So I have this very smart friend um, and she, I'm sorry about that, people here, people here in Nevada, they think that the roads are like Kentucky Derbies. I swear to you, like people go so fast. <laughs> anyway, so I have this smart friend and she sent me this link about trying out the elimination diet and I was like, hmm, I was a little bit hesitant. So I posted in this group that I'm in and it's full with other women who, you know, are all ages and walks in life. And I posted, had anybody done this? And if so, like, what do you wish you knew, you know, before you went into it? So they all messaged me and they said, anytime I did it, like it worked, I figure out, figured out what I was intolerant to and I feel like a gazillion times better. So, you know me, I can't follow directions. So I made up my own rules. So I decided to <clears throat> do my version of the elimination diet because online, like all they said you could drink was like lamb's broth and like carrots and like that was it. So I decided that I was gonna start eliminating dairy and Splenda. And the reason I chose these two is because I thought that these would be the most problematic ones, like if at all, like I knew that these ones would be the one that were messing with me. I decided to take those out and they've been out of my diet for nine days today, which is really exciting because honestly, I did not think I was gonna make it this far. So nine days today, I am dairy free. Dairy free, yo. So I want to show you some of my favorite dairy-free alternatives, just because I thought like this would be really cool. Um, a lot of them are from Trader Joe's. Well, they only have three um, that I took out. Let's get into it. So first off, we have these almond shreds. I don't know if you can see those. Um, so these are almond mozzarella shreds. They literally taste legitimately like cheese. They're 99% lactose-free. Um, it says trivial amounts of lactose, um, which I don't have a problem with because I think it's more of like when it's all concentrated into like a block of cheese, then I'm like, um, the macros for this are two fat, three carbs, and six protein for one ounce, which is really good. So if you are ever questioning these, get them because they are delicious and they actually melt like normal cheese. So that's cool. And then <laughs> this is what I was kind of a little nervous about. Um, I got Trader Joe's version of their vegan cream cheese. Um, first thoughts, I opened it and it was watery, like beyond water. And I was like, I'm a little scared. Um, I mixed it up though, and it hasn't been watery since. So that's what it looks like. Um, I like gave it a good old mix in. It's a little gray. Um, so I would recommend when you use this, add spices or something to kind of zest it up because it's a little, a little bland. Um, but hey, if you love cream cheese like me, this is a great alternative. Um, and so I've had a couple different coffee creamers. Um, I've had the silk one and I like that one way better. Um, but I had that one when I was at work last week. Um, but I have this so coconut creamer. Um, it's good. Um, it's not like amazing. It does taste a little bit artificial um, because I love half and half. Well, I don't love it anymore. <laughs> um, but yeah, it does taste a little bit artificial for me, um, but it's good. And then one last thing is that Smith's, Ralph's, Kroger, whatever they are, they have sugar-free, lactose-free ice cream. 
and that's like the best thing ever so if you live near smith's kroger ralph's whatever they call it i'm gonna have my cats trying to eat the cheese um but the good thing is about trader joe's is they are everywhere so if you have one pick one up but i swear to you if you are having chronic headaches if you feel like poop if you're like fatigued all the time um my smart friend who told me about this diet always says there's a reason why you get headaches like you can't just pop you know naproxen sodium or a leave every day to try to get rid of it there's a bigger reason and i think the time that i realized there was a bigger reason like i was finally like okay like let's find it because i was waking up every day like a drained bag of potatoes okay so i'm so so happy that i have now found out what it is what the cause is and how i can better fix it because i feel like a completely different human i feel i wake up every day and i feel like i woke up not like i went to bed and got punched in the face um so if you are having any of these struggles um do not worry girlfriend you are not alone just try to eliminate the things that you feel like are the culprits because i always feel like we know but we just don't want to admit it you know like i don't want to give up cheese like i freaking love cheese but you know it all comes down to what's best for me and my body and this is one last thing I also feel like I have I've been really bloated because I have so much inflammation and this inflammation is caused by me putting things into my body that it doesn't want and I was literally like having so much dairy and and I think once I cut this out um, over like a longer period of time, I'm sure in about a month, I'll have a better, a better update for you. But um, nine days in, I feel freaking amazing. And if you feel like crap, if you have headaches all the time, you should just cut out what you think it is, even if it's like the most amazing thing. It's normally the thing you like the most. That's what you need to cut out. So thank you so much for joining me here today watching my video clicking on my video it means the world to me um like i said this channel is just gonna be kind of updates on me my life and i just kind of want to update you a little bit on my last video um so i know i was saying i was feeling really stuck feeling really alone and like i was and i've been doing a little bit better i'm not gonna lie so how i've been doing better is i know things that i like so i know that i like this one song from halsey without me it's me dancing to it um and so i play it in between my calls i get up i have a little dance party so you can take it Um, I started doing workout classes in my living room because that's fun. Um, I also found a new YouTuber that I love. So I've just been finding things that I know I enjoy. Uh, and I've just been doing that when I feel like alone or stuck or kind of just in this cycle. But like I said, since I cut out this dairy, I've been feeling like a new woman. So if i'm telling you please if you take anything from this and if you have any of these symptoms cut out one thing and just see how you feel and i promise you you will probably feel better tell them say don't forget to like and subscribe the button's right there people just click it and you know click the little bell you know so you can get an email so like i said thank you so much for watching this i appreciate it more than you know and i hope you have a fabulous day